G'day guys, someone didn't really like me using the active earth method to, to uh, test the other day. I wanted to actually demonstrate you like this, this meter here, right? If you look carefully here, she's rated cat three, okay? So it's fine for exactly what I'm doing. It's input protection is gonna save me, okay? If I was using some other cheap fucking AliExpress special, yeah, I'd probably end up dead. Now the same test I can perform here locally, say if you wanted to find out where do these socket outlets go to? Is it which individual circuit is it? Now there's this this setup's pretty pretty damn simple. It's just um, three phases with three phase outlet with the three sockets, and then we've got a single phase with a single phase one. I just wanted to show you the time difference too, because I've got another test tool today to actually demonstrate you what is the trip time of this and what is it in trip time from between um, zero degrees and one eighty. That's another thing that most electricians don't fucking do. So. Let's go and demo that today. What I'll do is just demo it um, using what I find is the most easiest. I'll put the meter into continuity mode and I'll do an active earth fault. We're gonna trip this one here first. Um, this one, this is my, if you're wondering like why is these fucking things all like a live panel down here below, that's what it switches for. So I can actually isolate this, okay? So we can know that, you know, all this is safe to touch. But, and it's key operated, okay? So, let's just perform a fault on it. So, active earth, and this should trip this one up here, okay? Bang, works like a charm. These clips last CBOs, they're a bit fucking shit. I'm gonna show you a video, we'll cut in right now of them tripping under the same fault condition. They fucking hum, they, are, they don't exactly, they've got the really bad trip time. Hopefully it records the sound. I just want to demo like how crap these vol sticks are, okay? And the reason why I've got these two screwdrivers in is to bypass the um, mechanical mechanism that's inside of these. They've got a shutter on them. That would have stopped young Trevor back in his days. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Going off his tits. So is this one. Obviously got it turned on. Let's pull these screwdrivers out. Test again. Look at that. Huh. You'd think that's off, wouldn't you? Yeah, this one's on. Even if we turn this one off, Nah, faulty still leaks through. That's why these things are only good as an indication device. Don't use these as a test instrument. There's many trades that trust these uh, devices as well as apprentices as well. I actually want to show you what happens when you don't do your earth continuity properly. I'm just going to do a transposition between neutral and earth, okay? I'm going to rip this board apart and I'll show you the process. So I just used this third outlet because uh, got a bit of length here. Yep, let's just draw the neatness, just for the sake of a video. And let's uh, transpose those conductors and show exactly what it says on the meter. Probably should show you about isolation first. I know that this, because this is my test board, these conductors go out through these ones. So once I trip this ICD, it's gonna turn off these devices. And that's just from memory. We probably need to get ourselves a device to test you for dead. Um, fuck, I'll just plug something in. Because this should light up. See the neon indicator here? Okay. Yeah. Now we neon indicator. It's got a device in it, so she's dead. Okay, hurts me to tease that I ruined a perfectly good board, but let's go prove a point. An energized device, let's test it. Yep. Let's plug it in. Remember, that one there, so if you're neutral and earth transposed, okay? So I reckon this thing's gonna tell, tell me the right reading. Hey, look at that. If you read up there correctly, does that not tell you correct? Yeah, it's wrong. 
What will happen if you plug in a device with some sort of potential to it? Let's say a heater. Let's do that for example. Okay, so here's a two kilowatt heater. If I plug this in, is it'll trip this RCBO right above me here, this four pole. It's plugging, it's obviously one, two, three phases in between this one. But yeah, this is the second phase. So let's plug it in and watch the magic happen. Yep, exactly what happened. That's because we've got that transposed neutral on Earth. And that's why it's important to check your Earth continuity first before your polarity, okay? Also, for the sake of teaching, I just resorted to how it was. Bon appétit!